What's up everybody? This is Turn On Toronto, the show where we bring you face to face with the faces of the city. And today I'm sitting down with a very talented Veronica London. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming down. Thank or thanks you. for letting us in yeah. your place. Well, I, I would totally go down to it. This was actually supposed to happen during a photo shoot for Maxim. Yeah. Um, and then my ankle got busted and I think there's only so much Photoshop that they could do. <laughs> and yeah, so the photographer is like, we definitely have to put the shoot kind of aside. But right on. So I love interviews, so yeah, thanks for coming Cool, down well, let's chat. Yeah. I, wanna, I wanna get to back to where your whole career started. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you wanna be when you grew up? I wanted to be a publicist. What I found is, like, I love stories and I love connecting people to different things. And I didn't really know if that could take me anywhere. Like, I didn't know what that job was. I started meeting a lot of people in the industry because I wanted to get more into, like, the business side. And then it just happened that they were like, oh, why don't you try getting in front of the camera? It's something different. You like change and all this other stuff. So I started with modeling. Mm -hmm. And then the modeling, which I was about to be completely done. Um, I met a director from Universal, mm -hmm. and like, he's like, oh, can you shoot the cover for this band? And I was like, okay. I'm like, this is the last thing I'm ever gonna do. I'm so out of the business. I'm just gonna finish my BA and like marketing and stick to that. Um, and then the picture turned out good. So then he's like, do you wanna be the lead in the music video? And I was like, okay, well, this wasn't really part of my plan, but why not? I shot the video and then it was just like a whole different ball game. And I was like, oh my God, I have to like tap into this. How? What, what is this whole business? It just totally snowballed, but then I was doing my marketing thing like on the side just because I'm like, okay, somehow I need to make this all come together. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately it's like, then you start learning about more about the business. It's like, if you could create the brand and bring the people in from like all, everything that you do, mm -hmm. then that's, that's ultimately the goal. So then that becomes like the business and the entertainment put together, which oh, is now the okay. plan. From like images to like roles that I take on, I like anything that's not ordinary because ordinary is just, too square for me to do, mm -hmm. to keep doing. Do you ever shy away from roles? Like, do you, I mean, is it ever daunting to you? Like, oh my God, I've never done that. Like, no. can I do You know, that? I, like, I'll think about it and be like, oh my God, I don't know if I could do this, but it's like, it's that feeling that I, the uncertainty that drives me and then I'm just like, oh my God, I have to do this. Cause those are usually my highs. Mm -hmm. When I enter like unknown space or unknown roles and I'm just like, oh my God, it's just crazy. You have to lose yourself almost to become somebody else and tap into all those things that you don't want to tap into in your own personal life and then you have to exploit that through the script so because I find I think that is so challenging and then you have to go back to who you are um, somehow without losing your mind mm -hmm. yeah so that for me is like the biggest challenge which which is what draws me the most music for me like even with different roles I have, I've trained myself that certain types of music will trigger certain emotions so if I need to mm -hmm. be up there it's like I'll listen to certain type of music for dramatic roles if you have to hit like a big time low mm -hmm. um, it's either with like a smell or something so it'll just take you up and down you kind of just play with yourself sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice soundbite but you know what I mean. <laughs> Now, the lead in Searching for Angels mm -hmm. with Vivica Fox. Yeah. What was that whole experience like? Um, very eye-opening. Um, because before I would normally play a lot of pretty roles, this was so dark and gritty, and I started to see like Toronto very, very different. Well, you played um, a prostitute who was a heroin addict who amnesia. had amnesia. Yeah. So it's almost like, <laughs> where the hell do I find that person? Right? Yeah, uh, well, I, I did a lot of homework for it, like the director. Um, I watched a lot of like intervention in the movies and I do know people that have like addictions mm -hmm. um, So then I would go undercover with them to see what it what it's actually like with people um, Because you can't pick up their mannerisms or like their mentality and play the character unless mm -hmm. you actually can, can talk to them and like hang out with them even if it's one day and you become so it sounds like scary to know that People can get so deep into a very dark place and, it, and they can't see like the light come out whatsoever. What kind of advice would you have for young people um, who hmm. want to get into the business and don't see the reality of it, they're just caught in the clouds? You have to follow your instinct, mm -hmm. um, trust it, because there's so many people that are going to be like, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that. So you almost know what it is that you want if you can focus on the end result, um, because then that's going to take you there. It's almost like the secret, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, don't focus on the how, focus on the end result, because there's so many hows that are going to come your way, but if you're open to it, it's going to happen somehow. Um, and just stay positive because it, it, there's so much, it, it could be a corrupted business so you kind of just have to stay grounded at the end of the day. Okay, now time for our uh, fun question. Ooh. How do you turn on Toronto? Um, with my pictures? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? With the glitz and glam, I love bringing in like introducing people to the diversity, mm -hmm. especially now that I'm, I'm getting a bigger fan base. So then I like to tell them what's going on in Toronto with the events, with TIFF. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely huge. So then I, I just like to tell people what's going on events wise. It, it doesn't even feel real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm a very simple person. So whenever it's all like glitz and glam, it's like it's almost like you're seeing a product. Um, which in my point of view, it's almost like you have to make yourself a product at the end of the day because that's what people see and that's the image that's getting sold. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's just like, oh, it's just, it does it, it's surreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Veronica, thank you very much for helping us turn on thank Toronto. You. Appreciate it. <laughs>